Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Idea Spot. Today, we're going to be running some performance benchmarks and comparing DigitalOcean, Vulture, and Linode. So, if you're interested in how these compare in terms of their server performance, then keep watching. Okay, so we are going to be benchmarking Vulture, Linode, and DigitalOcean. We're going to focus on the one CPU and one gigabyte of RAM VPS options. Now, when you're getting started, most people go for these uh, fairly affordable options. They usually run uh, between five and six dollars per month. So we've got DigitalOcean has options at five, and now they have a new option at six dollars with their DigitalOcean Premium AMD and DigitalOcean Premium Intel droplets. So we're going to look at those. We also have Vulture and Vulture High Frequency. So uh, the popular $6 Vulture High Frequency that we've talked about before on the channel. And finally, Linode at $5. We've got an excellent performer at the $5 mark in Linode. So, I mean, just looking at the clock speed of the CPUs, uh, you'd expect it to come down to Vulture High Frequency and this new DigitalOcean Premium Intel. So even though these are all marketed as one CPU and one gigabyte, they all have different uh, kind of CPU settings. So we're going to run those benchmarks and see how this actually makes a difference in terms of uh, benchmark performance. Now this video is going to be particularly interesting for those of you using Cloudways for your hosting because you obviously get that choice between DigitalOcean, Linode and Vulture. These are the three best value by far on the Cloudways platform. Um, they do have Amazon and Google on there, notably more expensive. You get still great performance from these smaller companies at a much better price to performance ratio really. So, um, but what we wanna to do today is really just highlight the differences between these three value options and see which one performs better. Now I have done tutorials for setting up all of these services. I'll put those tutorial links in the description and I also have free trials for all of these services. I'll put links in the description for those as well. So DigitalOcean, you'll see the link gives you $100 60 day credit. Uh, on Linode, you get $100 credit for 60 days. Now with Vulture, the landing page doesn't show any credit, but as you go to sign in, you'll automatically get a voucher on your sign up for $100 for 30 days. And if you click the $0 deposit box there, um, it'll be a free trial. You can set this up. You can set any of these up and test the performance for yourself. Now for our benchmarks today, I'm going to be running Sysbench. Now this is a very popular way of benchmarking a Linux server, and it's especially handy for benchmarking MySQL databases, which is a very important aspect of running a WordPress website. All right, so the tests that we're going to run on these services are these three. So MySQL database test. Now that is really important for WordPress's dynamic content, and most importantly, probably WooCommerce cart and checkout flows. So these are usually bottlenecked by the database performance. So having strong database performance is really important in WordPress. And the other two are the disk file input output and memory read and write speed. So this is going to be important in terms of serving cached pages to your visitors. So if you've got fast memory and a fast disk, it'll be able to uh, serve those pages to your readers as quickly as possible. So let's start off with the most important test, the MySQL database test. So MySQL, as we talked about before, very important for WooCommerce cart and checkout. So here we've got Vulture High Frequency. That takes out the highest performance rating and followed up by DigitalOcean's new premium droplets. So Vulture High Frequency is still the top and these new DigitalOcean $6 options also very good. Now the $5 options are a little bit behind. So Linode is actually pretty close but um, DigitalOcean and Vulture's $5 options a little bit slower, but um, all of these do pretty well, to be honest, but you'll just notice that bit of boost that you get when you go with Vulture high frequency. Okay, next up, we've got the file input output. This is the disk performance. And here we can see whatever Vulture is using for its NVMe drives are just a lot better than the competition. So the drive performance in terms of serving files to your visitors uh, and loading files Vulture is well ahead and DigitalOcean made a big improvement, particularly with the Intel premium droplet. Um, it has made a bit of a boost over its standard droplet, but everyone else was quite similar. Just there is a notable, noticeable improvement when you go with the Vulture high frequency. And it, again, it highlights the difference where that extra dollar goes. That extra dollar is definitely money well spent with the high frequency choice. 
Okay, and next up we have our memory performance. Now there wasn't as much of a difference here. Digital Ocean's AMD droplet and Vulture's high frequency did pretty well. Vulture with a slightly faster read time and AMD with a slightly quicker write time. But everyone was quite similar. I think in terms of having pages cached into memory, all of these are going to do pretty well. There's not that much difference. A slight edge with um, Digital Ocean Premium and Vulture High Frequency. Now that we've looked at the performance tests, let's go and have a look at the conclusions. So from here, we can probably say that Vulture High Frequency is definitely still the best value. That's probably my personal preference still. These new Digital Ocean Premium Droplets are a good improvement, but Vulture still has a bit of an edge in terms of its high frequency performance. If you are stuck at $5 and you don't want to spend $6, then Linode is a very nice option. It's worth noting that they lack the free plus control panel that you can get from Vulture or Digital Ocean. If you go ahead and watch my Linode tutorial, you'll see what I mean. Linode was a little bit more complex to set up. It is worth learning how to set up WordPress from a command line. It's a valuable skill and it gives you a lot more flexibility. But if you're not interested and you just want a simple approach, um, setting up the free Plesk on Vulture or DigitalOcean is excellent. And finally, I just need to highlight that all of these are actually very good choices. Just because one was slower than the other, I wouldn't put too much weight in the comparison between them. It's just worth noting that all of these are so much better than using shared hosting. I love all of these. I'd happily use any of them on a project. I would just slightly prefer uh, this one out of them if it was my choice, but uh, you'll do very well by using any of these at all. All right, so the two ways that I like to set up Vulture personally, depending on the situation, if you are less technical, I'd go for the Cloudways setup tutorial and set up Vulture through Cloudways. They handle all the management for you. Or if you want to manage Plesk by yourself and run that by yourself and save a few dollars, the Vulture setup through Plesk is right there. So either way is really good. Check those out and see what you think. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.